I call to order the meeting of the Pasadena Independent School District Board of Trustees in special session on Tuesday, February 15th. 2022 in the boardroom of the administration building, 1515 Cherry Brook, Texas at 5.04 p.m. Members present, Ms. Vicki Morgan, Ms. Ken Mr. Kenny Fernandez, Ms. Nelda Sullivan, Ms. Crystal Davila, Ms. Paola gonzalez Fusilier, and Mr. Casey Phelan, and myself, Marshall Kendrick. Let the record indicate that a quorum of board members is present, that this meeting is duly called, and the notice of this meeting was posted in accordance with Texas Open Media Act, Texas Government Code 5, Chapter 551. I've asked Mr. Phelan to give our invocation and Ms. Morgan our pledges. Will you pray with me, please? Our Heavenly Most Gracious Father, I ask that you watch over us, each and every one that's here gathered as we conduct the business of this school district. Guide us and protect us in these decisions that we make, and it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Join me in the pledge to the Texas, I mean the American flag and then the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you all for being here. It's a good crowd. We're going to adjourn to closed session pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551074 for the purpose of considering the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment duties, discipline or dismissal of a public officer, employee, or dear complaints, or charges against a public officer or employee concerning matters related to the superintendent's recommendations to hire administrators administrative personnel and or the superintendent's recommendation related to renewals, non-renewals, and terminations of contracts for, for professional personnel. 551.071 to consult the district attorneys concerning matters on which the attorney's duty to the district under the code of professional responsibility clearly conflicts with the Texas Open Meeting Act. To seek the advice of an attorney about pending or contemplated litigation or a settlement offer, and or to consider legal matters regarding items specifically listed on the agenda. 551.072 for the purpose of the purchase, exchange, lease, or value of real property. We will reconvene as soon as we can. 269,000. Proposition B for 14 million nine hundred twenty-one thousand and Proposition C for eight million eight hundred ten thousand. Okay. Second. We have second motion. Kenny. Kenny? Second. Which one? Okay. Motion by Mr. Morgan, second. Second. By Mr. Fernandez. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. Motion passes. So board members, I just want to say a thank you to our future facilities committee. Just so you know, they've been meeting, and I see some faces here. They've been meeting with us numerous times and getting information from us, responding to us, going through the different opportunities of uh, need in our district, uh, whether that's with our school buildings or whether it's with safety or technology, fine arts, CTE and transportation, just to, of course, uh, give you an overview. You've been going through that same information. Y'all been doing your homework and your research through the communications we've had via email and different conversations at my evaluation. Uh, but they've just recently gone on tour. So if I could have any future facility committee members stand up, I just want to recognize you for your time and commitment to this process. We also have with us tonight uh, some of our friends whenever we're doing a bond to keep us in order and you know John Roebuck and of course uh, we also have with us Rick Whitty and we're appreciative of their guidance. Always appreciative so thank you very much. And last but not least, I saw Danny Brewster. There he is. Danny was here. Uh, as you know, this process even started before the Future Facilities Committee started meeting. They were talking with principals, doing surveys, getting input about facility needs. And so putting that information together is not only going to help us in planning this bond program and making final recommendations to the board, but it's also going to help us for many years to come. So we're excited about a future facility plan for the future as well. I want to thank everybody also because y'all did a lot of work. Some of you done this before, and we have a lot of facilities to look at as well as maintenance, as new buildings, replacements, you name it. We've got it. 
every, every aspect of our district is up under this microscope on this. Y'all have done a wonderful job and we look forward to what's going to happen in the future as we pass this sucker. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. I told y'all this was going to be a short meeting. That's right. <laughs> so we're now going to go into team building, which is required by state law, and we'll be here a while. So I call for adjournment of this meeting at what time? Actually, we'll reconvene and adjourn when right, we're done. Right. So we'll just adjourn to uh, executive session or okay. team building time. But I do want to let the future facilities committee you'll get an email from Mr. McCarley letting everybody know the good news, and we'll keep working together so we can make a final recommendation. Great. So thank you all. Thank you. All right. This meeting is done. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you all very much.